Okay, well, sometimes asking those tough medical questions may be hard, sometimes making some of us feel uneasy. Well, today we're asking the questions for you. Dr. Ran Randall Meisner is a gastroenterologist with the Spectrum Medical Health Group here, and uh, great to have you. Mm -hmm. Lots Thanks. of great Thanks questions. Thanks for having me. So top sure. five questions we have to ask about, you know, we hear these buzzwords right. in the health industry a mm -hmm. lot, and we've been hearing a lot about probiotics right. recently. What exactly is that, and do many of us need to take that? Right, probiotics are, are bacteria that are kind of meant to just restore normal, what we call gut flora, the normal bacteria in your gut. And I think the bottom line on them is they can definitely be helpful, and they're usually not going to hurt you. I think probiotics in patients whose bowels are uh, dysregulated from recent antibiotic use, or sometimes you travel, you get an infection, a gastroenteritis, and your bowels are really uh, messed up for a few months, probiotics can be really helpful in those instances. Uh, I think the negatives on probiotics, sometimes they can cause a little more bloating because you're kind of introducing bacteria oh, in your system. And they're, they're costly at times. And only, uh, the only thing to be concerned about them is if you're on medicines to suppress your immune system for some other condition, sometimes they can be dangerous, but that's uncommon. So it'd okay, be I, something that's then prescribed, right? Well, that's you can buy them over the counter too. Uh, you, you really can. There's all sure. sorts of different formulations uh, over the counter and, and a lot of patients get a lot of benefit from them. Is that different than a laxative? Definitely different than a laxative. A laxative is designed to help you go to the bathroom and, and, and move the bowels. Probiotics are uh, a bit of a different indication too. Sometimes they, they can help you move your bowels but sometimes it's, it's just used to kind of, as I said, restore that normal gut bacteria. Okay. All right. Yeah. Interesting. All right. So another yeah. question we hear a lot, especially sure. as we get older. <laughs> Colonoscopies, is right. that something, natural part, that as maintenance, checkups, why do you need all that prep before? That's what I think people most complain about. Absolutely. Great question. And I think one that we as gastroenterologists don't always do the best job explaining to patients. The better preparation you have, and the reason we put you through all that, and we know that it's not easy, but the reason you go through all that is that the better preparation the more polyps we can find, the more small polyps we can find, the more flat polyps that can kind of camouflage in the colon we can find, the more behind folds. And those are the ones that can be missed and those are the ones that can turn into colon cancer. So the better the preparation, the better it allows us to do our job. And if you don't have polyps and you have a good clean colon, you may be able to go that full 10 year interval until you need the next one. So definitely worth it. A little extra definitely time on the prep it. side of things, mm -hmm. making right. sure that And I think if it. patients understand that, mm -hmm. then yeah. it's going to make it a little easier when uh, right. they they're having fun that, that night. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, even I both have uh, been in the, yes. we've had a colonoscopy yes, club. You're in the club too. I'm in the club too. Um, so we know that it doesn't hurt, but tell people, explain to people at home why this is a procedure that is not painful. Right. Uh, we give sedation for this mm -hmm. procedure. Obviously putting a camera through the colon can have cramps and twinges, but we give sedation and the vast, vast majority of patients are very comfortable do, during the procedure. A lot of them don't remember uh, any you know, discomfort during the procedure too. And as we tell patients, it's a lot better than the pain that's encountered with surgery for mm -hmm. colon cancer mm -hmm. or, or other therapies that are needed as well. I think people wake up in the recovery room and the most common th answer that we hear is, boy, it's over. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I remember just being really thing. hungry afterwards. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Did you go a while like, without eating? Okay, yeah. it's over. Oh, geez. We've had pizzas ordered to our uh, recovery room. Very nice. Okay. Yeah. So what are the colon polyps? I mean, what, when they say you have a polyp, what is that? It's an extra growth of tissue in the colon lining. So tissue from the regular colon wall kind of grows into the colon. And it's not supposed to be there. Sometimes they're precancerous, sometimes they aren't. Uh, the problem with colon polyps is there's not too, too much you can do about them. Uh, a lot of times it's genetics, and as we know, you can't pick your parents. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are some modifiable risk factors, uh, obviously avoiding smoking, excessive alcohol use, uh, and as we tell all patients, a diet high in fruits and vegetables and low in fat 
you know, do as I say, not as I do, is 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 the best thing for colon polyp mm -hmm. prevention. And, you know, we hear all these horror stories about colon cancer, and we always think, you know, that, that, that that's just such a terrible one to get. But it really is one of those instances where if you find those polyps early, it's very curable and treatable Absolutely. in the early stages. Probably, if done correctly, mm -hmm. A colonoscopy is your best screening test out of all the screening tests we do for, for cancers. So uh, absolutely it's true, preventable. Very and you preventable. remove those polyps during correct. that colonoscopy, correct? Correct. So right. whatever you see at that time is gone? It's gone. It's gone. Right. Mm -hmm. Now something that I see a lot of times too and you hear the stars talking about it, that they do these mm -hmm. colon cleanses right. and that it's good for your system and it makes you lose weight. Right. How healthy is that? Uh, as, as I tell patients, just because they're doing it in L.A. and Hollywood doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. Uh, <laughs> not very healthy, to be honest, because as we talked about that normal gut bacteria that you're supposed to have, colonics can disrupt that. Not only that, they can cause dehydration, which is probably why people lose weight from mm -hmm, it, right. uh, but that's not a good way to lose weight. They can cause electrolyte abnormalities and even perforation. Putting a hole in the bowel has been reported from those. So there really is no good benefit uh, to colonics. Okay. Uh, it's a big myth. So if somebody's interested in asking you more questions, they maybe would like to get an appointment with you or one of your colleagues, how would they reach you? Sure, they can uh, give our office a call. I see the, the information is on the screen there and uh, make an appointment and always be happy to talk about anything from uh, from the top to the bottom, as mm. we say. <laughs> that's yeah. fantastic. And there are topics that are often hard to talk about. Right. And as we get older, it's it's good to have somebody here. Thank you so much for all this information. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. Great. Thank you, guys. We'll be right back. That's Wes.